My name is Luan Jordan, and I am from the Revival Time Assembly, a member church of the Pentecostal Assembly of the West Indies. Yesterday, we looked at King David and God using his transgression for triumph. In the last day of our daily devotional, I want us to focus on the Apostle Peter. Originally named Simon, Anne was a fisherman who became one of Jesus' closest disciples. His journey from an impulsive follower to the cornerstone of faith, showcasing the theme, broken currents can still color. Jesus saw potential in Peter, renaming him from Simon to Peter, which means rock. This renaming signifies Peter's future role in the foundation of the church. Despite his humble beginnings and lack of formal education, Peter's willingness to follow Jesus marked the beginning of his transformation. Peter was known for his boldness and impulsive nature. One of his most noble acts of faith was when he walked on water towards Jesus, but he began to sink when he doubted, prompting Jesus to rescue him. This incident highlights Peter's mixture of courageous faith and human frailty. Peter then confessed Jesus as the Messiah, the Son of the living God, responding by declaring Peter the rock, which he will build his church and promise him the keys to the kingdom of heaven. This affirmation underscores Peter's critical role in the future of Christianity. Despite his bold declaration of loyalty, Peter denied knowing Jesus three times, fulfilling Jesus' early prediction in Luke 22, 54-62. This denial left Peter broken and remorseful. His action demonstrated his human vulnerability. After Jesus' resurrection, Jesus asked Peter three times if he loved him and commissioned him to feed his sheep. Reinstating Peter's rule and emphasizing forgiveness and restoration. This encounter reaffirms Peter's purpose and demonstrates Jesus' grace. Peter emerged, emerged as a great leader in the early Christian church. At Pentecost, about 3,000 people were baptized, Acts 2, 14 to 41. He performed miracles, healed the sick, including when he healed a crippled beggar at the beautiful gate in Acts 3, 6. Then Peter said, silver or gold I do not have, but what I do have I give to you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, walk, rise up and walk and boldly preached the gospel, often facing persecution with unwavering faith. His leadership helped guide the early church through its formative years, particularly in spreading the gospel to the Gentile and navigating doctrinal challenges. Peter's life story highlights the theme, broken current can still color. Despite his impulsive nature and significant failures, Peter's faith always allow him to become a cornerstone of the Christian church. This transformation from a floor follower to a steadfast leader demonstrates the power of God's grace and the potential in every life. Peter's journey reassures us that no one is disqualified from God's purpose. He qualifies the unqualified, and that through His grace, we can achieve extraordinary things for Him. Some people might deem you as unqualified because of the many broken pieces in your life, but God is the one that qualifies you, not man, to do His will on the earth. Thank you for staying with me for this week. I hope you will encourage by this. And remember, broken crayons can still color. Bye.